love push-ups. Why do I love push-ups? They're probably the best exercise that someone can do for their upper body and for the core. Whether you're a college student or whether you're a 75 year old woman, you need your upper body strength for lifting, for reaching, and most importantly, you need that upper body strength for if you happen to slip and fall and need to catch yourself on the way down. So now that you've evaluated and you know how strong you are, you should incorporate a strengthening program for your upper body. If you're unable to do the modified push-up or a full military style push-up, then start in a standing position and try the wall push-up. With your hands against the wall at shoulder height and slightly further apart than your shoulders, you engage your stomach muscles and simply do a push-up from here, keeping your chin pulled in, stomach muscles engaged. To make this more difficult, you can simply step out with your legs and you're going to work so you can ultimately get to about three sets of 15. From here, you can move to the kitchen bench. And in this position, you will feel more of your weight through your upper body and through your core. Your hands are again at shoulder height and you make sure you engage those stomach muscles again and come up, come down into the push up. After another two or three weeks of working on this three to four times a day, I'll anticipate you'll be ready to hit the floor. So in the modified push-up, again, our hands are at our shoulder heights, slightly apart from our shoulders. Engage those stomach muscles to ensure you've got a good position through the spine, but your knees stay on the ground. And a push-up down from here. Again, you're aiming for 10 to 15 repetitions. And between each set of repetitions, take a break for 30 to 40 seconds so your muscles can recover. And then repeat the series again. When you're ready to move to the full military push-up, you can lift these knees up. Your feet can either be together or slightly apart. Your arms are in the same positions. And then the key part is to really hold these stomach muscles in to make sure we've got a nice clean line through your legs, through your lower back, not letting this dip down and not letting this part of your spine rise up. People often ask, where should I look? What should I do with my head? So if you look diagonally just in front of you, it's going to maintain your neutral spine and your neck in a good, safe position. From here, you're ready for the full push-up. Work towards you can, until you can do at least 15 of the military push-ups, and then you can try some of the variations for a little bit of fun. The first variation is to put your index and thumb into a diamond position, so your hands are much closer together. Again, work on this good alignment through here, holding those stomach muscles in, and then down into the push-up. You can see that's a little bit harder than the previous version. Now you can take a step. You don't have something like this at home. You can use your couch. You can use your steps if you have stairs at home, but with one hand at a different level. With this push-up, you're adding a rotation component into your shoulder and into your spine. And make sure you do both sides. The final version, you can either use a large exercise ball or you can use your step or a couch to place your feet on. So your feet are now at a higher level to what your hands are. Stomach muscles are nice and tight and then down into a full push-up. Looks great. So to optimize your strength, continue to do your push-ups with variations. Consider 10 times the modified push-up, 15 times with the military, and then 10 times with your feet up. Continuing to add variation in will keep your muscles really having to work hard and will trick them to, to, for even more strength gains so you can maintain and optimize the strength of your upper body. Mm -hmm.